away. Uh, time has flown. We're almost the end. We're, we're, I remind you, each candidate will have two minutes for closing statements. We have time for one more question tonight. And this is a hard-hitting one. Uh, it's actually a two-part question from the audience here. Uh, part A, for what are you most thankful this uh, Thanksgiving season? And what is the highlight of your family's Thanksgiving table? The best thing on your Thanksgiving table? We'll start with Senator Gazelka. I think I'm most grateful that uh, Marilyn and I have been married 39 years. We have five adult kids, and you know what? They're not all conservatives. And yet we figured out uh, how to love each other and, uh, and be together, and now we're in that sweet spot of five grandchildren. And so that's the sweetest part of life. And just being at Thanksgiving, thanking God for our family and all the provision that he's had for us. And I would say it's the sweet potatoes with mushroom, or not mushrooms. <laughs> it's a family secret. <laughs> Marshmallows on top. It was kind of like a It's kind of the new story. Um, sincerely, that I live in a country where I can be thankful for the freedom to exercise my faith as I choose and for the opportunity to work and succeed or fail at whatever talent has been put before me and that my children get to have this because for thousands of years, humanity existed in oppression and I do not, and I am thankful. Um, this year's Thanksgiving table will be at my sister-in-law's house, and that's what I'm most thankful for. <laughs> Senator Jensen. In the 1770, Lockhart just said, when you finally make the plunge and make the big commitment, it will happen that you could never have counted on. I am so thankful that after eight months of campaigning hard, my wife and I are finding that our energy is not flagging. We've enjoyed having conversations with Minnesotans everywhere we go. We go to a place and expect to spend 30 minutes with 30 people and we spend two hours with 300 people. I'm so grateful that my wife has traveled alongside of me in at least 50% of the things we do. And she criticizes and she applauds and she helps crystallize my thinking. That's powerful. I'm thankful for my wife and my team. In terms of Thanksgiving table, the thing that I probably enjoy the most is the day after Thanksgiving. I like the cold turkey and the warmed up dressing. We're thankful that we have leftovers. Thank you. Uh, Mayor Murphy. Dog thing. Can't argue with you on the leftovers. Never met a meal I didn't like. <laughs> I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for this opportunity. I'm thankful for the people that even dislike me. Because deep down inside, there's a good part to them, and hopefully one day they'll come around and see that we're not all bad evil people. Most importantly, I'm thankful for my wife, Gloria, who actually was able to attend one of my events tonight and not be at home with our teething 19-month-old daughter, Eleanor. I'm thankful that my my family is allowing me this opportunity to stand here and run for the people of Minnesota and the people of this great state. It, uh, it really means a lot to me. I'm thankful that my city is supporting me behind this endeavor as well, too. There's just a lot to be thankful for, even in light of all the negative and all the bad that is going on in our country right now. We have a lot to be grateful for. And those are the types of things that we need to look at and cherish and lift up and, and use uh, to win this election in 2022. And uh, we do three turkeys every year, one smoked, one baked, and one deep fried. So I'm really looking forward to the trifecta. Um, but uh, I'm just thankful to be with my friends and my family and meeting all these new people across Minnesota. So God bless all of you, and I really hope you all have a really great Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks, Dr. Shah. I am thankful for many things. I'm thankful for the fact that I don't have a toothache right now. I'm thankful for the fact that we're inside and there's heating and air conditioning. But I'm most thankful for my wife, Sarah, who's in the back, and the three beautiful kids that we have at home. And they're why I'm up here, because they need to have a bright future. They need to have a Minnesota that they can be proud of. They need to have jobs and security. Most importantly, they need to have freedom and liberty. And that's why I'm fighting. Um, but without my family, I would have nothing. So thank you. So the highlight of Thanksgiving dinner, uh, <laughs> we also smoke a turkey. Well, you've done all of them, but not all three at once. <laughs> 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 and, 
Maybe you So we will smoke a turkey this year and have our entire family over, and I'm also thankful for cranberry sauce that comes out of cans. <laughs> Mr. Marty, what I'm most thankful for at Thanksgiving is the fact that we live in this great country. It is something to see. It is something to be eternally grateful for. I'm also grateful to my Savior, Jesus Christ, because he paid the ultimate price for all of us. What else am I thankful for? I'm thankful for our veterans who gave us the opportunity to still be here tonight. Without them, we would not be here. And I think we owe them a debt of gratitude that can never be repaid. As far as our Thanksgiving table, well, it's the talk of politics that is so enjoyable around the world. <laughs> it makes you appreciate your friends. <laughs> But really, I guess, hopefully this year we can afford Thanksgiving because, unfortunately, Brandon has taken us to a place where it's going to take a couple bars of gold to afford Thanksgiving this year. I will be spending all the money I'm told I saved on 4th of July for Thanksgiving. Is that like 4 cents? That's right. 14 cents a head, so I won't spend it all in one place. Anyway. I'd like to thank you all for coming out tonight. By the way, this is not the end of it. There's going to be a few people uh, with a couple things to say after this is done. But we are now down to the closing statements. Every uh, Each candidate gets two minutes uh, to make a closing statement here. And we will continue the round robin uh, for closing, sta uh, closing statements with Senator Benson. I grew up on a farm. When you farm, you know that it's your responsibility to pass on that land to the next generation. So you take care of it. We need to pass on a more free and more prosperous Minnesota to our children. We are to be stewards of the freedom that we're given. I'll tell you, my husband was in the Navy for five years. We moved nine times in five years. Um, you don't accumulate much stuff when you do that. But, we came here because it was a good